Hey guys, welcome back to Cooking Unscripted, our first show of the new year. So today we'll be making steak frites, which is something that I wanted. Along with that, we're gonna be making a steak sauce from Peter Luger's Steakhouse in Brooklyn, New York. Great steak sauce. Anyway, first thing we need to do is we need to get the potatoes prepared. I'm using russets. Basically, all we're gonna do is even off all sides till you get kind of square. Cut it down. You can cut them as thin or as thick as you want. Me personally, I don't like crazy thick, but I also don't like crazy thin. I'm gonna do this, throw them into a container and throw cold water on them. Let them sit for about an hour, hour to overnight, anywhere in between. Basically what we're trying to do is we're trying to get the starch out of them. After they've been sitting, you have these nice potatoes. We are going to rinse them. Once they are rinsed, we're gonna take them and put them onto paper towel and just pat them dry for a couple of reasons. One, but the main reason being is you don't wanna put water into hot oil. It will splat, burn you. It also destroys the oil relatively quickly. So you can get them as dry as possible. And then we are going to double fry. So we're gonna do the first fry at 300 degrees. Drop them down and let them go. We want a lot of fries, right? Not a lot of fries. Now mind, keep in mind that when you're doing this, you're frying these potatoes, you pull your first batch out, you wanna give your oil time to come back up to temperature. Otherwise you're putting your food into what equates to be cold oil. So when the fries come out, we'll put them onto, again, paper towel lined baking sheet, and then we will fry them again at 400 degrees until they're nice and crispy. We get that beautiful inside texture. It's so quiet without like stuff here. Mandy. So our first fry is done. I'm gonna throw these onto our little paper lined. And then we're gonna fry these bad boys. And we'll get our steak sauce ready and start working on our steak because that's like the best part. Okay, so steak sauce. Again, pretty simple. Ketchup. We got just a little bit of molasses. Probably want a little bit of a lighter molasses, but this is the one I had in my house. A little garlic powder. Some distilled white vinegar. Who's your mama? Some sugar. Some horseradish, which is like my favorite thing. One of my favorite things in the world. We want, we want kick, right? We want kick. Just us today, so. Last but not least, some Cholula. Our spoon. It's like cocktail sauce. Boom, there's our sauce. Then comes our steak. So neutral oil of some sort, I'm using avocado oil, coconut oil, grapeseed oil, all work great. Your pan nice and hot. Man down. All our first fried potatoes are done. We're gonna turn this up to 400. Today we're using New York. Prime New York, great steak. Some salt, some pepper. So we wanna do fat side first. We like mooing, right? So we rendered that out. We'll lay the steak down. For those of you who don't know, that's my boy, Loki. Yeah, every year I get a Christmas card from my pet sitter. She takes one of whatever pictures she sends to me when she babysits, sends it to me as a Christmas card. Flip it over. We've turned it over, add our garlic. I'm gonna use rosemary because I personally like rosemary. 
some rosemary in there, some thyme, a little knob of butter. And we'll just let this baste. So we are going to pull this off and let this rest because Jay and I both like beautiful, medium rare, medium steaks. Now, last part, fries to 400. Time to give me some nice, beautiful French fries. Beautiful French fries. I'm one of those people that actually likes like sort of limp French fries. I don't know why. Oh yeah. It's gonna be beauteous. Our fries come out, sound nice and crispy. Onto our paper towel. Now, you can use regular spice, as you all know that I don't use regular spice. I actually make my own burger spice. So, I like it. Throw this bad boy right on here, because why not? We have our steak. Now, steak temperature preference, you know, people are gonna be like, oh, that's raw. I like a rare New York steak. That's me personally. If you like it well, more well done, cook it more well done. If you don't like it, some people like blue steaks, which is probably what this is closer to, which is a blue steak, then eat a blue steak, which is what I like. We got our little, our little steak sauce. And there you have steak frites. Just a wonderful, super easy, quick dinner you guys can make, especially if you cook the fries ahead of time. Tear the steak, cook it. It's beautiful, it's cooked perfectly for me. For Jay, who's gonna be eating it, if you wanna cook more, leave it in the pan. You can actually put it in the oven. It's rare. A rare New Yorker, to me, is a great thing, but I also know it's not for everybody. Let's eat. Do I really need a fork? I'm just kinda, right? Mmm. The steak sauce is ridiculous. We used to buy it by the bottles. In Florida, you can find it. Where there's just bottles from the steaks from the steakhouse. I buy it by the bottle. Ah, great steak frites. Guys, give it a try. Impress. Cook for your wife. Dinner. Everybody loves steak and french fries. Super, super easy. So freaking good. If you like it, try it, comment, subscribe, notify, ring the bell. It's just, it's so good. I'm gonna eat, Jay's gonna eat, and we will see you next week. Much love, happy new year, be safe.